Over the course of our last grind here on Quattro Kalinas for the Great One Red Deer, we had not nearly as many Diamond Red Deer as what you would expect from a grind of the length that we had to do, spanning over 5,000 kills, and we didn't have nearly the amount of diamonds that you would expect, uh, at one point even going 1,000 kills plus without getting a single diamond. Hopefully things will be a little bit different this second time around because today actually marks the second grind for the Great One Red Deer. We are going to go ahead and start our second grind with this stag right here and I think we're going to continue doing what we have been with just shooting the larger stags and leaving the smaller ones alone because that seems to be working. I feel if we keep getting the good spawns that we have been getting using that method, maybe we can make this second grind a lot shorter. As with that first grind, it wasn't until we started using this method that things actually started turning around and we got our great one to spawn. With the amount of low silver scoring stags we bagged on our last grind, it sure is a breath of fresh air to start things out today with one that actually does reach into that gold threshold. It definitely is a nice change compared to what we've seen and what we've started videos with in the past. But I'd say that will hopefully set the tone for today's video and just be a day full of golds and potentially even diamonds. And if this guy's going to cross in front of us, we might as well also try to get this guy down as well because that is another one going towards the grind and it is above that level 4 mark that we're trying to not take out, so we might as well get this guy on the way. This guy will unfortunately have no chance of making gold, but it is still above the level at which we're trying to leave on the map. For those that are new to what we're doing here, we're basically leaving any stag that's under level 5 on our map, and so far it seems like it has been doing pretty well for us, and I wanted to see how the grind will go if we start the grind out doing this strategy instead of just doing it halfway through like we ended up on the last one. Now, I don't know how we alerted this one, but I think we will need to try and get a shot up before he notices us too much more, and I'm going to assume that the wind direction is probably the main thing that alerted this guy to our presence. However, I don't know if we can make a shot from right here, so we might have to get a slightly better angle to actually get a finishing shot on this guy. It never fails to amaze me how breathtaking these red deer can look when they're in the thick fog, and... This right here is no exception, but that is going to be a nice level 6, possibly gold red deer, down for the grind. And unfortunately this guy did just barely miss the gold mark, actually it missed it by quite a bit, which is definitely a little bit unfortunate. Since we tried to keep it just into the gold stags for videos like this, but it's still another stag that is above that level of which we are going to be taking out. Well, it looks like we have finally found the first track of a max weight estimate red deer. We're going to wait for this guy to come back to his zone and hopefully this will be the first good stag of the grind. Now it definitely wouldn't be a red deer hunt on Quattro Kalinas without running into a few wolves and luckily this one's not after us or the red deer that we're chasing down, but it is something that you will consistently see when you're on this map and today is no different. You know, it never fails to amaze me in Call of the Wild, the amount of crazy journeys and beautiful places that these animals will take you, and this is no different here. We chase this guy all across the map to a beautiful sunflower field, and now he's just drinking out here in the middle of a forest. This is truly one of those incredible encounters that just, you can't make up. And as per the usual, we will try to take this guy out with a neck shot, and I think we can do it. But it does look like we might have misjudged the direction that this guy was facing, as I'm pretty sure we shot him in the right hind quarter instead. So after about 20 or 30 minutes approximately, we finally have eyes on this guy for a second time. Now you might be wondering why I've spent over 20, even 30 minutes chasing this guy down and well, that's because this isn't a real video. Th this is not actually Flinter either, this is uh, this is Scarecrow and yeah, April Fools. 
We thought it'd be kind of a, uh, actually, let, let, let me get my voice back to normal. All right, there we go. Now we're uh, back in our uh, true self. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is just an April Fool's video. We thought it might be a little bit funny to kind of do a video where we, I guess, imitate each other and then post it on our channels and see if anybody actually believed it. Because believe it or not, we have quite a few people that for some reason mistake us for each other. I, I don't know how that happens, but there's a lot of people that for some reason just either call me Flinter or call him Scarecrow and actually believe it so we thought it would be kind of funny to do a video like this where we pretend to be each other and just see if anybody actually falls for it although I highly doubt it because it's actually very difficult to imitate Flinter believe it or not it's it's not an easy task but we thought this would be a pretty fun idea and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well because it was definitely kind of cool to be able to do something like this and uh, thank you to Flinter for uh, agreeing to do this it was a lot of fun as I mentioned and hopefully you guys enjoyed it too but anyway guys that is going to be it for this video and I will see you all in the next one peace